Prime. Man, Prime been in the news lately, dog. You know what mm. I mean? Like, we all know he took the head coaching job at uh, Colorado just now, but mm. prior to that, he was the head coach at, at Jackson State. Uh, and for those who don't know, everybody should if you're paying attention to the world, but you know what I mean? Jackson State is an HBCU. Um, Prime went there a few years back, you know, bought all types of recognition there. What? You know what I mean? Bought all types of players. Had the number yeah. one player. Um, Country. You know what I mean? Uh, two chips. You know what I mean? Did they win today? Up? Anybody know? I don't know. I just thought they were winning though. They, they was winning. winning. They was winning. They was winning. winning. Yeah, yeah, man, look, we gonna check on that. We gonna check on that. But uh, 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 yeah, bro. Like, just what he's done. You know what I mean? At the collegiate level, at the HBCU level, uh, at the national level, with attention. Like, just everything he's done, bro. But then for him to go and make that move, man, you know, and go to Colorado in the fashion that he did and say, we here, mm -hmm. I'm here, we here. Mm -hmm. Dog, what's y'all thoughts? What's y'all thoughts, man? man I like, can't even be mad at him, though, bro. Like, I don't know. And it ain't even just, cause I went to an HBCU, so you know how I feel about it. I'm all, state, yeah, man. I'm a rep it in here. Y'all went to Terrible, I went, but I'm HBCU without. Like, I love it. Went and traded for the world, had a ball at it. But. I don't think well people gotta what he did in that amount of time. And I get it from both spectrums. Like if you got people that's die hard HBCU, they feel like, oh, he supposed to roll it out. He could have did this, he could have did this. But again, the way I think, look at what he did what he do did, with did, the did, resources did. he had. That man took money out of his own pocket, built a locker room that they would have never got if he wouldn't have came. Yeah. This man from Alabama, Florida State, whatever, he bought celebrities that wouldn't. Dog. You would never see at a football game. Dog, bro. USC like, couldn't even do that. Come on now, like and they live in their backyard. Bro, you had come on, Kenny, bro. Valo, Key Snoop. Glock, Dolph, Snoop, Rick Ross. Like these kids got the experience. So at what point, like, when do you say, look what this man did for these kids? Type stuff, like. They had the best time of their life. They had better time than any of us probably. I'm like, man, that what? shit was like, right. I'm watching it and I'm getting hyped for them. So Bro. it's like the, the good definitely out the way the bad. Then you don't know what the off the field stuff he was going through. Like he the type of person, you got you to respect him for being stand up. I really don't think he even exposing everything that's probably really going not. on. Yeah, he just facts, said, you know facts. what? Yeah. I'm going to take these kids and I got to go to a better. I tried. Bro, but he I gave y'all two chances. Championship and then like I said going to an HBC when you win them championships sometime like at a big school You might get bulk of the money go back to your athletics. Yeah. I know for a fact uh, They was dispersing it all over because you already you ain't making a lot So when you got that money coming in it's going here 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 and he not getting the piece of the pie that he was supposed to be getting yeah. That bro and like hit the bigger picture with him was he wanted his assistant coaches to be in a position at some point yeah. to become head coaches He wanted the exposure for everybody on that team to potentially get professional jobs if they wanted, power five jobs yeah, if they exactly. wanted, or big HBCU jobs yeah. if they wanted. You know what I mean? Players, he wanted them to get drafted, all types of stuff like that. Like, so it's him just staying like, there another five, ten, it wouldn't have did, like people say, if, if other NFL guys want to come down and coach, they're going to do it regardless. It's not, it don't take him staying there to say, oh, Hey, let me go coach here too. Let me go coach. Nah, if you want to do it, you're going to do it. If not, mm -hmm. not. But you got to, that man, he got a, everybody, you got a family to feed. Got a you got family, a family to buy. You got your own legacy. At the end of the day, you your own person. And he doing right by it. Like, you can't, he ain't tripping off what people say. Like you said, God lead him. Like, yeah. God lead, God going to lead you as a, lead you as an individual to whatever you're whatever supposed to do in life. So and it's he like, makes it he very clear when yeah. he talk. And, and my thing with it though, bro, like, I ain't going to lie, my, my initial feelings was, I would have wanted him to ride it out at least until he could have got that first class graduated or his sons about it. They always I wanted to see them play a P5 school. That's my only yeah. thing I wanted. I wanted yeah, to, I see like to see them play a like big school to see how it would have compared with his recruiting class. I would have liked, liked to see that thing. too. I would have liked to see that too. But he even said it though, like they weren't ready to play no Alabama or nothing like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because of the trends, we all know that. Like mm -hmm. the recruiting is different when it comes to that. Skill yeah. players, skill players are skill players. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Sure. But like just as far as like those resources and all that type of stuff. But like, yeah, but I just would have wanted to see him ride it out a couple more years. But am I mad at the decision that he made? Absolutely not. You know what I mean? Like, I think I'm able to separate my initial opinion and what I wanted versus understanding like, my man had to do what was best for him. Mm -hmm. Everybody like, Dion don't need the money, Dion. Man, come on, man. Y'all count that man pockets at this yeah, point. Like, right. and it ain't the fact that if he needed it or not, like, Slim, what he's about to do, 
he's taking so many people with him, taking so many college uh, players with him, coaches with him. Like he's giving more opportunities. The guy that's the head coach now, Coach TC, shout out him. Mm -hmm. Like he, I don't know if he would have ever been in that position that soon. You yeah. know what I mean? You know what I mean? But now this cat, he got the blueprint. You know what I mean? It, it's his job. It's his duty now to keep it rolling. Like yeah. everybody that's that has been supporting JS. Um, JSU and all that, like everybody that wanted to support other HBCUs that's been supporting HBCUs, don't yeah. stop. Like we want to continue to shine that light. You feel what I'm saying? Like we can't put it all on one person. Side. You talk about racism. All right, say for instance, he's about to go to Colorado, and we really about to see now. He's about to bring our culture our into culture. a predominantly on, white bro. school, so now they can see. So then, when you see the reaction, maybe this might bring. The world or the state of Colorado at least kind of closer because now it's bro. like you understand he ain't changing who he is. Not at he all. just gonna bring it that very clear. Here. Yeah. And now it's like, dang, they get the front row seat to be like, okay, this is why they yeah. are the way they are. This is why they do certain things. Fact, so it, yeah. you got to look at the good that's gonna come out of yeah. it. Fact, what you think? I, I just think it's it's more than you know than he's he's letting be known. Like yeah. I feel like it was some things that that happened. Behind closed doors. Yeah, that that he. Uh, he tried to, you know, wait it out and, and see if it was gonna work out and it just didn't. So I don't blame his decision at all. Um yeah, 100%. you know, like like you said, like God gonna lead you where, where he, he wants you to be at. Um and but he, he did a lot, man. He did a lot for the school while he was there, so how can you blame him? Like, you know, stuff probably didn't work out behind the scenes. I'm like, I'm pretty sure, like, stuff just didn't work out behind the scenes. And um I would have liked him to Stay there a little longer, but you know, I don't blame him for making the decision. Like everybody made it a big deal, but I never like was like, nah, Dion shouldn't did that. I won't never like that. No, nah, hundred percent, bro. Uh, it is what it is. Yeah. But it's done now. Yeah, you know what I mean. He gonna go and do what he got to do, and that's just what it is. Like, take it or leave it. That just happened.